All right, everybody, what's going on with you guys today? Me and my best friend here, we're going to be coming to you guys talking about Ninja Sun in the Beginning, which is my first book. And I have here today with me my best friend, Ashley, of 32 years. He and I, we're going to probably crack y'all asses up today. So if I was you, just sit back, relax, listen to what we're about to say. I'm going to introduce him, let him talk, and give you guys a backstory about our friendship. And then we're going to get into some questions about Ninja Sun the beginning. Now, most of you do not know, or most of you do know, I have talked about him in sparingly, not calling out his name. And as I can see, what character he is is on his T-shirt, which is Ninja Sagittarius. So I basically wrote the character for him, but there's a whole history behind this. <laughs> it's a whole history. So I'm going to turn it over to him, let him introduce himself, and let him tell you guys a little bit about our friendship, how he and I fight every almost every other day, and then we'll go into the questions and talk about the book a little bit. So, Ash, what's been going on with you, my friend? Oh, uh, everything been good, man. Good down here in Alabama, man. You know, just you know, just working here, working there, taking care of the kids. But yeah, uh, I had uh, met this 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 went on here back in like 91 um we couldn't stand each other was at each other necks and stuff like that cussing each other out and all that type of stuff but then again as the days went on and the months went on the years went on we just got real real cool been cool ever since all the way through high school and been out of high school now, you know, 26, long 27 years. Um, and we just still keeping it real. Yeah, he and I basically, and I told you guys, him and I, we, our relationship was, it wasn't volatile. And I'm going to let y'all know, we never fought each other. So don't think we went fist to cup. Now, he would tell y'all we did, but we never did. But <laughs> Yeah, but, it looked like we, we about to. We, we about to strangle to. up, but no, it never we got to that point. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to, but the thing is, our friendship got really, really strong. And he's like the only one out of my friends that I did not lose contact with. Now, there was times I didn't get a chance to talk because I told you guys I um, had lost my job and my cell phone couldn't keep the bill but i kept in touch with him through facebook so that was like maybe two years that i didn't talk but it right. wasn't because we wasn't you know on good terms or nothing so i don't want y'all thinking that i don't want y'all thinking that but anyway so now here's another backstory about this what y'all don't know is ashley is one of the he is the main person i used to give all my stories to ash do you remember every summer when i when we go on summer break we would come back to school. I would write a new story. It wasn't Ninja right. Sun. It wasn't Ninja right. Sun. Right. But it was any kind of story because it was one story I know I wrote. It was about X Men. I wrote that story. I yeah. don't know if you remember this one. Yeah. I had Rogue and Wolverine, you know, hooking yep. up. <laughs> yep. I had them hooking up. And so I would bring all my stories back to him. Every year, right. uh, every after every uh, year we come back from summer break, he would read my stories, and he was like, "Damn, this is good." Right. So I was like, "Okay, cool." So how I came up with Ninja Sun is the literally the uh, final week of um, school. I knew we wasn't going to see each other as much anymore. So what I decided to do, I asked all five, all four of my friends. Ashley was the first because I was like. I'm about to write a book since we're not going to see each other. I'm going to write, um, I'm going to do a book and I want to know if you're going to be able to, you know, do you want to be a character in it if I do? So this Negro said, yes. So I was like, okay, cool. So I asked our other friend Cornelius. I asked our other friend Prentice and I also asked my friend James. So they all agreed. Now, I had not gotten the concept down, but I did get the characters together. It took me a minute. So I sat Ashley down. I sat Jamie down. So we're all in the same room together. I told them exactly what character they was going to be. Can y'all guess how that went? <laughs> Can y'all guess how that went? Because I'm going to tell y'all, it did not go well. <laughs> it did 
did not go well. So let me just go ahead and set the preferences and I'll let him tell y'all his version. Okay. So I sat them down and I told them, okay, there's gonna uh the nin they're gonna be ninjas and I'm gonna use them as the zodiac signs. So I told Jamie, I said, you're gonna be ninja Aries, and I told Ashley he's gonna be ninja Sagittarius. I told them I was ninja son, so this Negro over here has the nerve, the dominicated gall, to tell me, no, nah, Negro, I want to be the leader. I should be Ninja Sun. Yeah, that's how that worked. That's how that went. <laughs> that's how that went. <laughs> it, it went pretty much like that. But I'm like, how in the world are you going to give somebody Aries when well, I'm supposed to be Aries? And you but know when what? In your defense on that, you are correct. But the thing is, when I when I was writing the character, right. but I yeah, I I understood when you pretty much explained it to me, you know how this was going, you know, with the uh, Ninja Sun and the Sagittarius and uh, you know stuff like that. So I was like, oh, okay, well, you put me and it, when I actually read the book, you know, you pretty much just you know put me where I was fitted at that particular time. Right. But I was thinking of a of a birthday type deal, but right. you was looking at a ninja son type deal. So I was right. like, oh, okay. So as I got to, you know, looking through and looking at all this stuff, I'm like, oh, okay, so okay, so he got me here. So I was like, okay, cool. I give him, I give him some brownie points this time. I ain't gonna get it this time. <laughs> but, um, you know, because you know, I'm a Gemini, so right? You know that. I didn't, you know, I didn't put myself as Gemini because I knew as uh, as the main character, Dion had to go through a whole lot. And if you right. read the book, you see what kind of stuff he goes through. So it was, right. I was like, I didn't want to put, I, I wanted to be the character because if you remember, if you read the book, you know some of that stuff I have gone through, like bullying and you know, um, it's a whole lot that I've gone through. So I wanted to portray it through that character, but that was not you. You right. were like the you was like the firehead. You yeah. was like yeah. the you was like the and that's why Sagittarius is flames. That's right. why his ability is fire. Because at that point in time, you was like go hold on, you was the bullheaded one, you was like the fire one. So I was like, this Negro deserves fire. He deserves the fire. <laughs> so after I did all of that, I named Jamie Ninja Aries because, and Ashley can contest to this, he was like the level-headed, cool, you know, calm, collected guy. So he, and even though he was an Aries, I told him you can't have two Aries on the um, on the team. So he was like, I still want to be Ninja Sun. I still get that to this day. I still get it to this day, so it, I mean, it ain't going nowhere. So, but I'm just saying. well, you know, I'm I'm cool with it now. You know, I'm pretty much I see how everything go, how everything set in place. So yeah, I'm cool with it. So you you did a good job, you know, putting you know putting that up right there. You you did pretty good right there. So I appreciate it, cause yeah, you did pretty and, good. And not only this, guys, let me tell y'all, he we will be talking about all four books. So when we get to Ninja Sun, the Awakening, he will be coming back because I definitely want to know his take on the chapter that I did for Ryan. And when Ryan comes in, y'all, it's going to be, <laughs> wait till y'all read that chapter. It's going to be funny. Okay, so let me go ahead and get into some of the questions. Okay, before I do, let me know what, how do you like the portrayal of Ryan? How do you like the character that I did create for you? <clears throat> well, Ryan was awesome. I like the way you uh I like the way Ryan put like certain people in danger, you know, had them like them like they were like between a rock and a hard place. They really couldn't get out of certain situations, you know. And you know, when he when him and like Dion had left the grounds, you know, heading in different directions, you know, and the king had, you know, turned you know, turned and said, uh, are you two all right? And it was like, yeah, 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 everything is going good, everything going good. But that, that Ryan, man, he... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you, the thing is, I wanted to put 
a little bit of our friendship how it first came when we first was like that into it because i wanted people to see that over the years ryan and dion are going to become they're going to become good the right. thing is i wanted to show them the rawness and how the antagonistic you know friendship started because that's mm -hmm. how we started and i and i treasure that friendship because it was like you know there was a lot of things that i've learned growing up and you know after we became friends it made it so much easier like i know you know i know if I do this a certain way, or if I um, talk to some people, you know, if I can be the nice person, maybe right. they will come around. So Dion was not like that. Dion was right. like a spoiled brat. Dion exactly. was like, you know, he was asserting his authority because he was um, the leader. And not only was he the leader, he was the um, crown prince about to become king. And him and Ryan always butted heads, but Ryan never respected Dion until chapter four yeah. <laughs> until chapter four but there was something in chapter four that we're going to talk about that i hope that you didn't miss because it's a pivotal um part of the episode i mean a pivotal part of ryan's character that's going forward that i want you to you know be able to talk about if you did get that part so let me ask you i'm gonna ask you a few questions before we get into having some more fun so First question is, so far reading the book, how did you like the portrayal of the character? So you basically just explained that. Oh yeah, they they, they awesome, man. You know, everybody played their part. You you put everybody, you put all of us where exactly where we needed to be, you know, in the Ninja Sun. So yeah, it was perfect. It worked out perfect. But yeah, come to think about it, if I did want the Aries, that wouldn't have been me in this book here. So, no, I, I, so I, I played. Yeah, you, you did that when you said so. That's good thing you weren't. Good thing you weren't. You know, listening to me. You know about you know this particular time. So it, it's a good thing. But yeah, that 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 was on man. You know, that I'm that was you, awesome. Let me tell y'all, Ashley never lets it lets me live it down. If I don't listen to him, he never let me live it down. Negro, you should have listened to me on this. I was right on this. So That's I get that all the time. That's the A reason me. I can't. I can't help that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so I want to ask you this: in the story, what did you find that was interesting to you in the story? And from any chapter, what did you find interesting? Well, in the in chapter four, that invasion, it was, you know. When Dion pretty much turned pale for all the number of troops entered the palace and, you know, grounds and stuff like that, you know, that pretty much got, you know, because when you look at it, you know, he wasn't, you didn't expect for him to look pretty much pale then. And it just went on to, you know, you know, telling his father, father, give up, you know, you have a chance of winning, you know, and, and the uncle, you know, we the uncle wanted the diamonds and, and all that type of stuff. So he was trying all he can get. He was trying all he can do to make sure, you know, everything was afloat. But, you know, after he pretty much turned kind of pale, then it was like it was like a whatever type deal then, you know, but he, he played he he came out, he played that part pretty good. He he really did. He played that yeah. part. I'm going to tell you about that. Now, the thing is about that part. Dion, remember, if you read, uh, I think it was in chapter two or chapter three is when Dion received the diamond. Now, the diamond plays an integral part because the right. diamond is the key to that planet and also the galaxy that that planet was in. So it, it's a very powerful, you know, um, it's a very powerful gem, I should say. It enhances the power of the wielder. Uh -huh. So, Scyther was banished from the planet because um, Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh Scyther and, you know, uh, King Raylan are brothers. I mean, if you read, everybody who read the book will find that out. And Scyther was banished because he tried to take over. So, when King Raylan made the diamond, he made it only to where the royal family of royal blood descent can use it so Scyther can technically use it but he can't use it but right. he does not know that 
And I wrote that in there specifically because if you continue on in the story, you're going to see he's trying to get it, but he does not know that. Right. So Dion took the diamond because, uh, you know, the planet was falling in invasion. So he had to take it in order to, you know, to protect the, the royal family and not only the royal family, his ninja, you know, his friends of the ninja warriors. However, he became pale because the power of the diamond has not resonated with him yet. So the powers that he had was just like his own abilities, but the power still wasn't enhanced. So he was, so, you know, he was powerful, but not powerful enough. Right. So that's why, you know, he was turning pale because if the diamond had, you know, gave him the power that he needed or he wanted, right. he would have been unstoppable that's at that point. Right. But, even well, we'll talk about those in the next story because they get a thrashing. <laughs> they get thrashed big time. But anyway, so this is the part that I was hoping you would have told me about is how Ryan got the scar over his eye. I, I was hoping you wanted to talk about that. I did want to talk about that, you know, <laughs> and I was just like, now, 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 what went on here? I, you know, it is. Supposed to be having no scars in that right around here, okay, man. Okay, no, no. In that moment, I was thinking about how you and I always used to interact. Now, Inter guys, right. When me and Ashley used to come together, now me, him, and Princess, when we was in high school, all three of us used to come together. I can say one. I, I don't even have to say one word. I can be like, and he'd be like, "Kenny, shut up." What 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 did, I didn't even say anything. That was before you said anything. There so you go. In, <laughs> so in that moment, so when I wrote that part, uh, Ryan was trying to protect um Dion. So this is where the ninjas had kind of started getting, you know, a little bit of respect for Dion. So Ryan was basically trying to protect him. However, Dion was trying to be big and bad. And say, you know, I don't know why you and I if y'all go back to my channel, I do have that clip up there where I read that part. But he was like, you know, I didn't ask you to be here. Why are you here? So Ryan, him and Ryan are arguing on the battlefield. Mind y'all, everybody around them dying. So they're up here arguing. Archangelus ends up grabbing his sword. He was coming straight for Dion, and uh Ryan pushes him out the way. So Ninja Sagittarius gets stabbed in the eye. It puts a it puts a mark like right. Hold on, I don't know how I can do it. it it's like a whole mark like right. Damn, mm -hmm. I can't even. Do, but you know what I'm saying. The mark. If you guys look at his picture on there, you can see the scar on his eye. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, I did that for a reason, and I wanted that right there to be like um. How should I say? It? I wanted that to be like a thing for Dion and um, Ryan to kind of uh, bond over because the one because in the awakening when you read it you'll understand why it was like that. Mm -hmm. So the scar meant uh, the scar meant something to Ryan, but I can't go into the awakening yet. We'll we'll get there because I want to know his opinion on that. So that's why I want you to talk about that. So give me your opinion on that part right there and what did you think about it? What you talking about the uh the awakening? No, the scar. You haven't read the awakening. Oh, you talking about the start, the start of the no, book? No, no, the scar over his oh eyes. the scar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you you sound you know like you uh you know Chinese for something, man. You know you <laughs> oh I sound Chinese, <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know where the hell that came from. <laughs> Look, I would have rather you say Japanese. <laughs> yeah, my bad. My bad. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but so what was so what do you think about that scar? So do you I mean you gotta read the awakening to get the full context of it, but what do you think about you know um uh, the part that I did that with? That, yeah, that was a well. They see that. See, that's pretty much like, like I said, it, that was an awesome part because that was like our when we do it back and forth with each other, that you know, sense. back in our day, and that was like a, a, a representative of you know us going at it, but 
you know, the way we used to argue and, you know, <laughs> not fist fight, but just, you know, just argue and scream and holler at each other. But, you know, that, that scar pretty much represent what we did 32 years ago. Years ago. And you see what, what I'm saying? It was so funny. People, when we, when me and him would argue like that, people would look at us and they would crowd around like we and him were finna fight. Finna fight and when nothing finna happen. <laughs> nothing finna happen. And, see, and that's what I liked about that because him and I, we never fist fought because I, and I'm gonna tell your ass this, I'm gonna tell everybody this. I always wanted to be friends with you from the first time we met until we started arguing. Then right. I just fed your ass. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. yeah. But it worked, out. it worked out. It worked out pretty good, though. It, well, it worked, worked out pretty good. Now, yeah. there's another thing I want to let you guys know. I've always, when I made this character for um, Ashley, I always made sure to do it with respect, but make sure it was true to his personality because Ashley has a really good personality, and that's what attracted me to want to be friends. And that's why we've been friends for so long because – even though him and I argue, but our arguments are not like they were when we were kids. They may be a little backwards and forth, like what we do now, a little banter here and there, but. Yeah, you might get a Negro here and there or something like that. Or an ugly ass boy, which yeah, I've been like, called you know, for the last like 30 years. <laughs> and when I told Renee that, she was like, are you kidding? I said, you'll see. I said, you will see. But yeah, yeah I mean, I appreciate people don't, uh, a lot of people, um, if they want us to see us now, they probably wouldn't even believe it. Because yeah, of how bad we used to, you know, we were at each other's throats. I don't think they would believe that. They were like, y'all friends? Yeah. They sure yeah. wouldn't believe it. They'd be like, it's no way. Y'all finna cut each other's throat on the sixth, uh, sixth grade y'all way. I'm like, hey, well. You know, it was in middle school when we started that. Because right. And when we came, when we got to uh, high school, all of that dropped. I don't let, know that. Yeah. let me tell y'all how that happened. Me and Prince is standing outside. I think we was outside Mr. Eaton's room. We was right yeah. there by the lockers. So yeah. me, uh, me and Prince was, uh, this was our first day at Inslee High School. So we, me and him just standing there talking because me and Prince were really good friends at that point. So Ashley walks up and he said, what's going on, guys? I was like, you talking to me? Because we was, I still couldn't stand his ass at that moment. I still couldn't stand him. And Prince was like, yeah, bro, what's going on? Now, all three of us went to the same middle school. Right. So I want y'all to know that we all went to the same middle school. So when he walked up, he was like, man, we got to mature. I said, you matured over the damn summer that fast? I said, okay, well, whatever. So let bygones be bygones. And that's how we buried the hatchet. So <laughs> Pretty much. And I and I would never trade this friendship for nothing in the world. So I, I promise y'all, if y'all would have met us back then, y'all would have wanted him to be our friend too. Now he probably said this difference about me, like I can't stand his ass. I don't know why he just think, Nah, I mean that's you know it, it, it is. I mean, like you said back then, man, it was you know we was young, we kids. We you know kids. we were kids. We didn't know no better. You know yeah. the testosterone, the testosterone was real high. You know and all that type of stuff back did, then. Of course, you know <laughs> so, but you know. But yeah, I, I mean, I know as we got older, it was gonna change. But like I said, yeah. I would never trade this friendship for nothing, and right, that's why right. I wanted to write what we went through into the books. Now, y'all got to keep reading because it gets better. So I got like a couple more questions I want to ask you before we get ready to end this because I want to know, uh, I don't have this on my list to ask you, but I'm going to ask you this one. Besides your character, do you have a favorite? Well, you already know it's going to be the Aries, man. Come on. <laughs> you know that. You know it's going to be Aries, but... <laughs> But I'm not, I'm, saying besides your birth sign, but besides your zodiac I, sign, but but cancer, cancer is the man. <clears throat> I like cancer because let me tell y'all, uh, I met this guy named um, Mac. We used to work at this Publix up here that's not too far from where I stay, but it's no longer standing. So it was in 1999. Him and this um, other cashier that I was working with, her name was Pooja. And they were, you know, they was, um, they was Hindi. So they was from, they were East Indian, I should say. 
And they were so cool. Now, Pooja, she said, I want to be a ninja. She said, I want to do all the fighting and the flipping stuff. And I said, okay. So I said, I got a you know character for you. And Mac said the same thing. So Mac and I had like, you know, a good work relationship. Like we, you know, we weren't friends, but we were, you know, friendly enough. So I asked him, do would he like to, you know, represent a character? So his personality fit with Ninja Cancer because he was more like a passive, but he was more tech. Mm -hmm. And with Ninja Cancer, Ninja Cancer deals with dimensional um warp holes and you know um twisting dimensions and stuff like that so that's why i gave mac ninja cancer yeah that was that was a good that was a good role for him because he pretty much you know fits that if you, you met know, him, you said the same thing. if you would have met him you would have said the same thing and i don't even think he's a cancer i never even asked him what his birthday was right but see that that's just how amazing how that's the amazing thing about it, how you can, uh, like like me, for instance, you know, I'm an Aries, but you put me, you know, in this hey, right here, you know, get you your shirt, and get make you out, you get, get y'all the shirt, man. Make you sure know you what I mean? And get that shirt. And get that shirt. Get it. Got to get it, now. Got to get, get it. Got to get it. Get that shirt, and now. Let me tell y'all. The artists that I chose, well, I didn't choose them. My friend Maria actually sent them, uh, she actually sent me that information. I gave them pictures of all five of us. You can tell that these are our characters. And that's the way I wanted it. Because I didn't, because when the guy who does my um, covers, he didn't get it. He got it, but I do love what he did with the guys that have made the t-shirt arts they nailed us to a T, but I told them to give some different variations. So the, it, it will be us, but not us, if that makes right. sense. So let me tell you my favorite character um, besides Ninja Sun, since that's my favorite. It is either between Capricorn or Taurus. I have not figured, I mean, all of the ninjas are powerful in their own right. But it's something about Ninja Capricorn that I actually like because I've made him the lightning god. He uh, controls lightning. And when that lightning strikes, it's not like he had like one lightning bolt comes down. He can control, like he can bring like 15 at a time. And then there's one particular attack, but I'm going to tell you about it off screen because I don't want nobody to know this or just yet. I ain't got to it yet. But he can, I mean, he can control lightning, and he has one uh, attack called lightning earthquake. Have y'all ever heard of a earth, uh, lightning causing earthquakes? No. That's the first time you'll ever hear of it, and he can do it. <laughs> okay, so I want to ask you this. Um, let me see. How do you like the story, Ninja Sun, the beginning? How do you like that story overall? Oh, it's awesome. You know, everybody plays their part. You know, it, it's an awesome story. And like I said, it's it fits all of us, you know, from Prentice to you to me to Jamie to Matt. It, it fits all of us. You know, that's why I was saying, you know, at the beginning, it, it's just amazing how, you know, I'm Aries and I got picked, you know, Solitarius or whatever. And it fits me perfect. In the then, book. But you know what? Let me tell you this. When I chose Sagittarius for you, I did not even think. I was like, so I know how I know his personality. I know I want him to be Sagittarius, but what is gonna make Sagittarius stand out from the other ninjas? And when I started writing, I said, Oh, that's what it is. The thing is with Sagittarius, he's more sarcastic like you. You're sarcastic. You're like um, hot-headed sometimes. This was when you, we was kids. And it was like, I don't know. You never had that spirit that I always want to be right, but probably only with me. <laughs> you probably had that spirit with me. Yeah, I, just, I had the aggravation. Right. <laughs> I had the aggravation. I had to. That was, that was, that was that's just the Aries in me. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, and I see, had the aggravation. That, <laughs> and see, and that's what I was thinking. So the, when I started writing it, I said, <laughs> oh, Ashley is going to love this character. Yeah. And not only that, i giving him a special ability that I don't even think you know about. You won't really learn this until you read Ninja, uh, Ninja Sun of the Awakening. 
but he has a secondary um a secondary ability now i wanted him to have super speed like ninja sun but i was like i kind of want everybody to have their different uh abilities so sagittarius can control the temperature he can control how hot it gets because it also makes his flame attacks even more powerful right so he can change ninja aries can also do the same he can control the um temperature he can make it as cold as he wants so that way his you know blizzard or ice attacks can you know um work more properly so that's so those are the secondary uh you know the secondary powers that they have now ninja sun does have super speed i'm sorry i was gonna get him flight but i was like he would be way overpowered so he got um so I gave him two, I gave him super speed. So out of those three powers that you just heard, which one do you like the best? <laughs> well, I, should, I, I know, I know, honestly, I know. Honestly, for real, for real, honestly, all bull crap aside, though, for real, I like the pretty much the castle, for real. You know, castle, he, he played that part pretty good. And, um, but you know what? When I made the first five core, when I made up the first five, I just went with Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, and Sun. I never even thought about the other um, signs fitting any of any of us. I I just thought maybe those five. And I don't know. And to be honest with you, to this day, I still don't know why I chose those five signs for us. Uh-huh. I don't. I can't even I can't even sit here and lie to you. I knew you was gonna be Sagittarius. I knew Jamie was gonna be Aries. I knew Cap. I knew Cornelius was gonna be Capricorn. And I told Princess. Princess nearly fell off the chair when I told him he was Taurus. <laughs> he was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> he was like, I'm, I'm, "I'm in the." Book. I said, "Yes, you're in the book." I said, "You're in the book," <laughs> but I had forgot. Me and him lost contact. Um, right after the fact, because I, you know, I told this story that when we left high school, I called his mom to find out how he was doing and stuff, but I thought his mom number had changed. Right. And when I had called it and I told him, I said, man, I had called you. I had called you like three, four times because she first told me he was going to the army. Then when she um, when I called back, she was like, you know, I never got an answer. It said this number has changed. So I was like, right. oh God. But come to find out I was wrong. Mm-hmm. I was wrong. So <laughs> I was so I missed out on a whole bunch of time with him. But when he came back, I told him he was like, Man, I can't believe it. But wait till that interview. Y'all gonna we're gonna talk about this with him. So y'all get to see that interview. Um also um did the story immerse you into the world so when you was reading the book how did you get immersed into the and i'm gonna tell you why i did it that way so how did you were you immersed into the planet train and around the on the surrounding areas of the palace yes i was because you know you you set it up as you know the first black ninjas you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and, and it, it was like, how can I say this? It was the first Black Ninja. You you wrote the first Black Ninja book, you know, and we is playing the part in it. So it's like, we still are friends like we was back in the day yeah. in the story. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, we still friends in the story and we still friends now. So it's like it's like a unity thing that all of us that hung together back in the day, you know, we are in this book right here. Right. So that pretty much just, you know, just brung that excitement. Now, I want to ask you this. I want to ask you this. How does your wife feel when she has she read the book or did did you? She, she, She read some of it. She read some of it. So she was like, hmm. That's amazing how, you know, y'all got to fight and we're not fighting but arguing and screaming and hollering and going on. And y'all cool. And he actually wrote a book and he have you in the book. Oh, you know, that's what I'm saying. Your ass was going to be in this book regardless. Well, you know, but you know, but you know, back back in right. the old days, you've been saying this since, 
sixth grade, you know what I'm saying? I'm writing me a book, then you was writing, you know, the X-Men, you were writing these stories here, writing these stories here. So I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But then you got to high school, and you were still writing, you were still writing, you were still writing. And then we got out of high school, you was like, hey, hey, man, do you mind wanna be in my book? Sure, no problem. Whatever it takes, whatever I need to do, just let me know. Boom. If thing you know, boom. I've been about working so much, working so much, it went on my mind, and boom. There it was, like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it took me longer than I wanted it to because I didn't have the connections back then that I have now. Even though I was going back to California, working, trying to get, you know, uh, people to read my stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. I had producers to read the scripts and everything, and they liked it, but they just was like, this wasn't the market for them. So right. I kept going and kept going, and until now, you know, I I was like, man, I cannot wait to have my boys in this book. And, you know, everybody was everybody doesn't know our friendship, so they won't get it until they see all of us on screen. Like, they got you now. Then the next one is going to be Princess, then Jamie, then Cornelius. And they'll see how all of us, you know, how I integrated all of us into the book. Man, when I tell you, I stay up late night writing this stuff. And I have to make it look good because I don't want us to, I don't want nobody to think that the characters are like, you know, even though, you know, there are characters, I still want them to feel like it's us. Right. And that, that you get it out from that is means I'm doing my job good because a lot, like I said, until they see you guys come on screen and see us interact, they won't know that, you know, these personalities of the book. But when they read it again, they're like, I see it now. Right. I, I see it now. But I always try to make, I always try to make note of it. I was like, you guys, would never know how uh if y'all see Ryan and um Dion going at it, you would never know that's how me and Ashley used to be. And we still do that, but not on the scale that we did. It, ain't, it ain't as bad now nice as like bad, it was 30, still, <laughs> 30, 32 years ago. It ain't that bad. Right, it ain't that bad. And also, you never knew. I don't know. Did you know my inspiration from um uh, the Make the Ninja Warriors? You don't mm -hmm. know, do you? Mm -hmm. Sailor Moon was the reason that uh, the author of Sailor Moon, uh, Naoka Takuchi, she was one of my favorite um, inspirations because she made an all-girl team, but I said, I'm going to make an all-guy team. Right. But what I did was when it came to Virgo, Scorpio, Libra, and Gemini 2, I did integrate women in there so it wouldn't be all guys. So it's, you know, it's an integration of a team but she made it uh, like an all-female team so i made it like the first black ninja team right. but, there are, but there are a few that are not black which is aquarius leo um scorpio virgo because they are uh and the gemini twins they're asian and right. the two um leo and aquarius are uh russian because right. those are the two guys I met when I was working at Publix. I'll tell that story later. But they were real cool, and I liked their personalities. And Ninja Aquarius, when you start reading the book a little more, you'll get to see the guy that I um, modeled Ninja Aquarius after. Him and him and I was just like you and I. Right. But I was, was a little more volatile. We didn't right. fight. We didn't fight, but we just, our arguments were a little bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> ours were funny, but these were funny because of his Russian accent. And after I saw him years later and I told him about the character, he he was like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, you're in the book. So do you like the character? Yeah, I guess. I like it, whatever. Just go ahead. <laughs> I was like, you know what? You ain't got to be in it if you don't want to be. But he was like, I like it, whatever. So after that, I haven't seen. And the last time I seen him, I think was 2009. So I haven't seen him since then. So he doesn't even know about all this. It's been yeah. that long? It's been that long. The first time I met him was when I worked at Publix, the one that was up here where I stay at. Right. And that was back in 98, 99. Right. Okay. When he left that store, um we met up at another job um 
I tell you about it if I well, I could tell you about it because I'm no longer doing it. When the swine flu had came out, um, we was packaging up the um vaccine for it. Right. So okay. I saw him there, and that's when I told him about the um story and everything. He was like, uh-huh, go ahead, whatever. So we was even fighting there. <laughs> but it was but it wasn't as bad as it was when we, you know, because we're all the same age. So it right. wasn't that bad back then. All right. So let me um finish this up with one more question. And then I'm gonna let my boy go because it's been 40 minutes. I had said 20. So y'all look when me and ashley get together time we lose time so i'm just saying and this is the first time him and i have done video chat like this we got to do this a little bit more right. but <laughs> um are you proud of seeing a first black uh superhero team even though okay. the ninja warriors are not the first full black team but i do know there's a black team out there but how does it feel to know that you're a part of a black uh, superhero team. It, it it it's just like it's a it's it's really a blessing that you're able to come up with this idea and do all the long nights and the long days to um you know come up with this stuff and it's another blessing that you got the people that you're pretty much you know cool with. And stuff because honestly you really didn't have to i know you ain't gonna do it but you didn't really have to put none of us in there it could have been like some other people that you work with here or work with that and put them in there but that's why i was saying it, it's a blessing that you came up with a a black ninja sign book and your friends is actually the characters in the book so it's yeah. like wow you know I got a friend of mine that was fussing and fighting, fussing and fighting, but we became the best of friends and we in this book, you know. So it is it is really amazing that the your your thoughts and the stuff that you do and your mind frame how it developed to put all this stuff together like that. Cause I mean anybody just can't just can't do this right here. So it's just amazing. So it yeah, was, I'm, I'm from from one to ten. I give it a twenty. Man, I, mean, I, it, 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 awesome. I tell you, I don't think it would have that charm if I didn't have you five, at least you five. Well, us five, I should say. If it wasn't for me, you, Jamie, Cornelius, and Princess, I don't think I would. The characters would have the charm that they do because, like, when I uh, when I write the characters and I put them on paper, I tell everybody. I took me and my friends, my real life friends, and put us on paper. And when you read the book, you will understand the dynamics of our friendship. And, you know, a lot of people, like I said, they won't correlate it until they see us interacting together. So that's why I was saying, you know, that's why I said, I got to get my boys on screen so that people can, can see who these characters really are and right. see how they correlate and see how i put our real personalities on paper to make a you know to make a team and i wouldn't have had it no other way it would have been me you jamie cornelius and Prentice. it would have been no other way i would have put nobody else. no and i know what you're saying it was just because when when i was developing the characters y'all were already in mind because we was already friends Right. We had already been friends for over five years at that point, and we were right. getting ready to graduate. Right. So it was like I wouldn't have had no other way because you always read my stories. You always like you like them. Prentice, he didn't read the stories, but he liked the concept. Right. Cordelia's liked the concept, but he never read the stories. I told Jamie about them. And he was supportive from the beginning. So I was just like, you know what? I already got the core five of the team. And I'm just gonna put, you know, some more people to round it out and make the team, you know, supposed to pop. And I'm gonna tell you, their first big battle, you're gonna be like, damn. <laughs> when you see them, I'm telling you, and there's gonna be a Ninja Sun Revelations. So I definitely need you to read that one because you got to come back. I got it. <laughs> when um when I when you read that, I need you to be like, Kenny, what the fuck were you thinking? 
Because mm -hmm. Indians about to get the um, revelations changed the whole entire series. And I'm already on desperation. And in desperation, I'm going to just give y'all a little bit. The ninjas are getting their ass handed to them. We are getting cur stomped. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. And when you read it, when you read it, she'll be like, damn. I can't wait for y'all to read Desperation. I can't die. I got to even finish it. I'm on chapter three, and I hadn't even finished it yet. I'm on chapter three. And when I tell you how good it's getting, man, I just finished your scene. I just finished Ninja Sagittarius' scene. Let's just leave it there. Yeah, <laughs> Let's just leave it there. Yeah, we're going yeah, to leave that right Let's there. there. Let's just leave it there. But guys, I want to thank you guys for coming to look at the video with me and my best friend over here. This is my best friend, Ashley, of 32 years. You guys, please come and check him out. This would not be his last time because we got the story of Ninja Taurus. We got Ninja Sun, the, uh, the Awakening, Ninja Sun, Revelations, Desperation, and Eradication. Eradication is the last book in this series. But I also have another series coming up called Ninja Sun Ultimate. So once I get done with that, we're going to have a lot of content and my friends to come and, you know, basically chill out with me. And hopefully when they don't have when they have some time on their hands, because my boy over here is busy. Maybe we can do a live stream and have y'all come in and at the food with us. You never yeah, that's, know. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> you never know. But I had to get with him to check in his schedule. Hopefully my schedule is good. And if you know, Prince's schedule is good. I can get all four, four or five of us at least try to get all five. And we coming on here, we talk about the book and we talk about, you know, our life, you know, before the book and after the book. So, guys, make sure you go in the description to check out my uh, t shirts. Make sure you guys hit that link to go to um, Kenny Lowe's um, TV, not Kenny Lowe's TV, but Kenny Lowe's the Instagram, Ninja Sun, to check out all the new art. I just put up Ninja Virgo. She's over there. So you guys got to go check it out. All right, guys. Anything you want to say, Ash, before I, you know, close it out? Yeah, I just want to, uh, you know, appreciate the people who is uh, here listening to us. But I say that to say this. You will not understand until you get this book here. Yes. You have you to get, get this book here. You have to get this book. For you to understand how all the characters play their role. So, so once you see how how we act and you well, you see how the characters play their role, then you we all get together and you see how we act, and y'all be like, Oh, okay, that's that's real cool. That's real cool. So we just asking y'all to please, you know, please give the support and you know, just you know, be a Kenny up. Build them up, get to buy the shirts, you know, buy the books for the support so we can keep this thing going and going and going and going. Because I want to put my boy back in some more books. I need him in some more books because when I tell you I have the finale already, in, you know, written out for the final series, y'all are going to be like, so y'all got please support us so we can put more and more out. But with that being said, guys, all the links are in the description to my uh, T-shirts, the books, Amazon. Make sure you guys hit those links. I do have a GoFundMe that's coming up for another project that I want to talk to you guys about, but that'll be in another video. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Come back and check your boy out. We love you all, and I will see you guys later.